Hello everybody, it's Rhino, and I am here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Look right up behind me, who's coming up over there? Donald and Pluto. But uh, I am here today because I thought that we could take a little shopping trip. Uh, I know that a lot of the 50th anniversary merchandise, um, we've shown a lot of that stuff and more of that keeps coming out, but I don't, you know, I thought it would be fun to just kind of take a walk through uh, Hollywood Studios and see what merchandise is here, whether they got any of the 50th merch, whether they have different 50th merch, whether there's just like, like new cool stuff that comes out that isn't 50th merch. So it's just, it feels like it's been a while since we went shopping here. So um, what I'm gonna do is walk up Hollywood Boulevard and then I'm gonna go down Sunset Boulevard. So uh, we'll just kind of go along and see if we can find a couple of cool, cute new things. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's always something that pops up here and there. So uh, before we do that, I want to remind everybody that this and everything that we do here is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. They are experts at helping you plan the perfect Disney vacation. When you book with them, it costs you nothing extra on your trip and you help support the channel and all the content that we produce here. So check them out, dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Sorry, it's so busy here today. I'm just like dodging people left and right. And also the weather looks like it's going to take a turn, but I've got my umbrella on my Sandy Fanny here. So uh, without further ado, let's start. Let's let's get to it. Let's go in here. Uh, first store we are stopping in is just like this this main the Mickey's of uh, Mickey's of Hollywood. So I don't know why I had to look up. I knew what the name of it was, but I always second guess myself. Anyway, let's get in here. Okay, real quick before we go inside, just a little appreciation for the little Pluto up there, the little neon Pluto. I love him. Um, okay, mask is on, because masks on at all indoor locations. Let's go inside. I know I've shown them before, but I do actually really like the the uh, Jack and Sally. Mimios, just only Sally here. I guess Jack must have sold out. I don't see him anywhere, but uh, she is $21.99. Look at her. So I actually love this sweatshirt, this like classic style sweatshirt. It's like super soft. I like this like old school Mickey design. And I don't know, it's got just enough of that, like, tie-dyeing effect here. That's not what I would call that, but you know, the bleaching or whatever. Whoop. This is $52.99. Soft. I saw this mug. I thought it was gonna have something funny on the back, but it just keeps saying morning face. Like I thought it was gonna say morning face. Uh, evening face, I don't know. $14.99. Just socks. $20 for two pairs of socks. So I like these, there's like three of them here. Um, I think these are better than spirit jerseys, I'm gonna be honest with you. They're thinner, the quality of the shirt is light, is uh, like a better material, lighter. They're cheaper too, 40 bucks. I know it doesn't say the Walt Disney World on the back or anything like that, but I like this like kind of collection. It seems so random that it's animal and hey hey. And then I actually do really like the the Disney World one, because that one says Walt Disney World down the sleeve. Nice. You don't see Hercules merchandise too often. Original baddies. $24.99 too, and this is a soft shirt. Okay, all right, this one's a deal. So, it's so plain, but this like classic Disney World, I miss sweatshirts like this. Just plain, classic, you know, design. $44.99. This bag is new too. I haven't seen this before. It's like a, oh, it's a backpack. I thought it was like a lunch bag. It's cute. This one's open. Let's see, do we have any pouches? We got a zipper. How much is this? It's kind of, this is fun though. That is 30 bucks. Really also pretty affordable. 30 dollars. Also, it looks like they're getting some of the winter wear in. $24.99 for the beanies. I don't particularly like either of these designs. But then down here, this one's 20 bucks. This looks like it's supposed to be part of like the 50th or just like kind of regal. $16.99 for the scarf. I don't get why Mickey is so frustrated here. $19.99. Look how cute these are. I'm a dog person. Oh, 10 bucks for those hair, hair pins. And then over here, some shirts. Peg leg P on the side here. Ooh, it's embroidered too. 
That one is $36.99. Actually kind of like this Mickey though, I'm not gonna lie. Just can't do black shirts for Florida because it's so hot and because I have two corgis that shed like like no other. It's, it is it is insane. But $24.99, and it's a pretty soft shirt too. Mm. Hmm, I do like it. Also, I like these, uh, the designs of these tank tops here too. Cause look, I wish this was a shirt, a t-shirt, cause I don't do tank tops. I mean, I do, for like bed and stuff like that, but my tan lines are so bad. But it's all like, Scar, Mufasa, and then Raja, it's just randomly on here, but what's the other one? The other one is like, the icons. These are $34.99. There's also like a really cute Winnie the Pooh one. I like how minimalist it is and then it's got the pop of the red. Yeah, those would have been good shirts. I do love that you can get a Kermit here. That's like pretty spot on. $26.99 for this, this adorable frog. And they got the classic mini, $22.99 over here. Get the Kermit. Get the Kermit. All right, we're out of Mickey's of Hollywood and now we're going into Keystone Clothiers, which is, of course, the Marvel Star Wars area store. So let's see if they have some new stuff. I'm sure they do because Eternals is right around the corner. Already can see it. New shirt. It's an interesting color. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. $24.99. Oh, the t-shirt prices seem like they're finally coming down. Quality's not amazing. I do still like this shirt though. Cause I like how the buildings are like his, his outfit, $36.99. And I do like this Captain Marvel bag. The only thing is I just don't like Captain Marvel that much. $75. This uh, Captain America jacket is pretty sweet though. Denny has that jacket um, and it's nice. I'm not a big, not a giant Captain America fan, but I feel like this is like really nice and light and Good quality, it is $64.99. There's also a Captain America shirt that says legendary over here. $36.99, too much money, terrible quality. Same with the Siren Man one, $36.99, not worth it. We'll just call it the night. $36.99, not worth it. They're just gouging Marvel fans. Not worth it, not worth it. Although they do still have this, this fanny pack down here the only problem is that the strap isn't big enough to like it can go around me but it's like a little tight because otherwise i would i would have got this 20 what did i say this was 29.99 yeah and then they have this captain america bag so they have that tiny captain america bag also this shirt is really cute for kids 25 dollars though it's a lot of money for a kid's shirt i feel like the iron man backpack which i might have showed this in another video i think but oh god 50 bucks. Woo. It is one pouch inside. Not bad for a theme park bag though, I'm not gonna lie, because it's got the it's got the pouches on the side. I like the design of it. And I just love this one though. This one has like a little pouch down here. Pouches on the side. It's this like weird material that I I don't know, I like how the thing is. I just I don't need another backpack but I always want one. I really do. And this one is, oh my God, I can't get the tag. $40, see, like, you know how much I love Black Panther. This tie, $45. This tie is more than the backpack. Get out of town. This is super cute. I wish this was an adult shirt because I, like I like the gold on that. It's nice. 20 bucks. You got your Spider-Man little side satchel here. This one, this bag's only 20 bucks. It's like, got a little pouch there. Unzips and it's not bad. 20 bucks. Spider's rubber on here. I'm starting to see more and more like action figures and stuff like that in the parks, the Marvel stuff. I saw like Wolverine toys at Epcot the other day. 14.99 for these. Check out this reversible Eternals jacket. The movie's not even out as of recording this, so I don't even know if I'm gonna like it or not, but so this is the one side. This is 65 bucks, and then this is the reversible. You know I like a, a good bomber jacket. 
Although I think this is technically like a members only jacket, but whatever. I tried it on. The sleeves are a little, like the body's tight with big sleeves. Like the uh, pirate shirt effect. Oh my God, they've got Morris in here. I love him. How much are you, Morris? I don't need another flesh. $14.99. Really not that bad. Get an annual pass order discount. And I have a gift card. I got a little Shang-Chi display I'm working on in my house with a little got a little pop vinyl and actually. Oh look, they have him here. I haven't seen this one in forever. It was sold out for forever. I have I have this pop right here where he's holding the staff. But yeah. Oops, and I dropped it. The rest of the store looks like a lot of the wait a minute. This is a new one of those like Yoda Wookiee backpacks. Yoda will get you up 40 bucks. He hangs on you. You put your stuff in his back. That, that is cute. That is cute. Oh, look, they have a little child hair scrunchie. That's $17 for that. My God. Okay, that's it for Keystone Clothier. So we are going to make our way now to uh, Sunset Boulevard and see what's in the stores down here. I'm gonna start in Legends of Hollywood and just walk straight down the connecting stores and uh, see what we got. I am not looking at Pandora jewelry. There is this preview of the Dooney and Burke. Oh, wait a minute, came out today. As of recording this, the 25th. So here's, here's the new Christmas Dooney and Burke. I do like the design. I am a fan of this whole look. I like the neon popping cup. Like, I like um, I like tie-dye when it's like one color. <laughs> like, that defeats purpose, but I like this Mickey sweatshirt. But this is like female cut, I believe. $50, and that is a 2XL. That's why it looks like that. And then we got a bunch of Haunted Mansion stuff. I haven't seen this before, I don't think. This is... $36.99. I like the neon, how it pops on the black and white flannel. And then we got pants to match, sleep pants, 40 bucks. The backpack, 40 bucks. Yoda. This, look, this looks like it's definitely a cut off flannel. I do like that splatter on the back. That's fun, this is a Her Universe, so this is 40 bucks. Oh, this is Her Universe as well. $36.99. I don't get the whole thing with the pins and everything. Is it just because it's supposed to be like punk rock? Oh wow, you can get belts here with like the Walt Disney World logo, the castle logo. Something just dripped on me from the ceiling. I'm under a vent. Gross. I don't care for that one. The Disneyland one though. This is 30 bucks. Are they all 30 bucks? Yeah. That's cool. I mean, I like that it's the buckle and the belt. It's like retro Darth Vader shirt is cool. It's so soft. So, so soft. Darth Vader since 1973. Finding, finding your lack of faith disturbing since 1977. That's funny. $36.99. This Mickey Mouse one is so plain. This is 1928 on the back, but I don't know. $36.99. This is new with Thumper. $36.99. If you love me, let me sleep. I'd, is this supposed to be a sleep shirt? Thirty six ninety nine. I did like this whole villain spray paint line, but it seems like it sold out pretty well. Because here we are, but this. How you doing? This is a really soft shirt. Forty two ninety nine. I like the colors. I like this shirt a lot. I actually like. I don't, no, this is an extra small. Cause I was gonna say, I think it's unisex, but I'm not sure. But um, I just love, I love this color green. And I love, I love that Mickey, $42.99. So much money for a long sleeve shirt that I'm never gonna get to wear. They do have it in a large. I mean, I'd wear this all year, I don't even care. I think that's so cute. I actually really like this jacket too. 
This is a, uh, I think it's just, I don't know if it's just a windbreaker or a rain jacket too, but it's 60 bucks. But I love that he's like angry on it. And I love this pop of the neon green. Because again, this, this like lime neon is my like favorite color green, I think. So that's cute. Here's some more Halloween shirts. Oh, and they like the monsters. Just here for the candy. $36.99. Haunt you later. $69.99. That seems like a lot for a sweatshirt. And then what do we got here? Little Alice in Wonderland stuff. Not really a spirit jersey. There's Alice on the side. And then it's like the mushroom pieces down the side. I don't really like this. $45. You want to walk back this... I didn't want to walk past this Haunted Mansion jean jacket. It's actually really soft. It's 80 bucks. I don't know. It's actually pretty nice, though. This is their new thing, though. These, like... This is a big size, but this, like, flannel... I just... This flannel looks dirty is the only thing. And on the back. They've got a whole character... A whole bunch of these type of character ones. Because there's one of, like, Remy... And then, um... Uh, I can't remember. Stitch, I think, has one. So these are 70 bucks. Nice to see Goofy represented. $36.99. Feels like, it's a soft shirt, but I don't know. I think this line of clothing is hilarious. Like, I love this shirt. I love this green backpack, because I love green. Green is actually my favorite color, but I love... Hunter green, I love lime green. I love this combo of green and orange. How much is this backpack? The Disney Artist Series. So it's 50 bucks. The only problem here, it doesn't have pouches on the side, but I do still like it. I'd make an exception. It's like a nice quality backpack. Um, and it feels like there's something, it could just be paper. Yeah, I was gonna say there's something inside of it. Anyway, the shirt from this Artist Series is $45, $44.99. And then my favorite pieces are this derpy Mickey hat. And this one, this backpack might be my favorite thing ever, though. It is just so random and absurd and funny where you're just saying, hot dog. And then it's an actual hot dog. I don't know. It, make, it makes me giggle. That one's 50 bucks. I believe the, the derpy face one is also 50. Yes. I love them. I love this hot dog one so much. So it's kind of cool too with the neon. Completely different feeling of that than that other backpack though, but it feels cheaper than the other ones. But this one's also 50. Where are those other shirts? There we go. And no. Um this is cute. Teeny frog in the back. You just kissed yourself a princess. 50 bucks. Man, they're really loving on animal in this park, huh? Oh, this is a lounge flag. But it's like a... You can... It's like a... Grip. Or you can put your belt through it, which is cool. 40 bucks. Emperor's new group socks. I don't know how much. Oh, 11 each when you buy two or 14.99 when you buy one. All right, next is Sunset Club Couture. Here we go, fashion. I just saw all this stuff a second ago. And there's Star Wars stuff over here too. It seems like this might be a greatest hit store, but uh, this absurdly heavy sweater for the holidays, I'm guessing, 125. I mean, any time of year, I don't know. Just, oh, it's always made by Spirit Jersey. I was like, why is it so expensive? Boo. Yeah, so this side has a bunch of the Marvel stuff in it still, but I love that uh, the oh, glow-in-the-dark fluorescent kid shirt for the uh, um, for the What If series. That is 20 bucks. They have the Shang-Chi shirt. I've got this shirt. I got it at the Disney store when it closed. It's not great material, but I got it for half off. This is 30 bucks here. I think I got it for like 12 bucks. I don't know, which was nice. There's never any Shang-Chi stuff, so. Got another What If shirt here. I know, it's hard to see. This store is not very well lit. This one's $24.99. Got our friends here, the little figurines. And of course, uh, Morris makes his appearance over here as well. And the jacket is still here. Which is, so this jacket is in that 
Keystone Cold Beers, and it's over here, and it is 60 bucks. So, I do have this jacket. All the eternal stuff here. This backpack is new. I kind of like the design of it. And then it's like got this side zip here. It's like a, almost like a jean material. Oh, it's even got a kind of like embroidered one of their symbols on the back. So this is $40. Not terrible. Not terrible. It's like the Target toys. You get yourself some shirts. I don't know. I hope this movie's good. $36.99. Get out of here. I'm so over the $36.99 shirts. Anyway, let me step back. Yeah. So you can get a picture of them. And then inside out. I saw these kids sweatshirts in the other store and they are just like they remind me of like the type of blanket you'd put down for like your dog that had been in your household for like 25 years before you were born and you didn't know where it came from that's what it gives me the vibe of it's very soft they're hideous <laughs> it's 35 dollars each but hey there were so many people looking at it at the other store so they're probably going to be popular this is interesting puzzle that is 24.99 and look at these little 50th anniversary wishables. So he's $14.99. There's a mini too. And then there's like the bag of them, which I don't know where I just saw it. Did I make that up? Did I dream it? It must have been a dream. <sighs> I don't know where they are. Mermaid. Look at this fluffy purse. It's so soft. Doubles as a pillow, I guess. This is $24.99. I feel like people are going to love that. So in the back here, we have the t-shirt wall. And this one actually caught my eye because I like this, like, pop art design. The shirt is terrible quality, though. It's $24.99, but... I don't know. I'd like to do something maybe where it's, like, four canvases. And then it's just, like, one solid color. I guess you'd have to paint the eyes white or something. I don't know. This gives me ideas. I like I like finding designs and, and, and stuff like that where it's like, ooh, I want to paint something kind of like that. I can't figure out if I like or hate this shirt. It's good. It's soft quality. Torn for nine, but like going through life, like, is he like, hey, hey, or is he like just staring? Uh, either I hate it or it speaks to me on a spiritual level. One of the two. I don't know what this thing is. Oh, it's a bib. It's a leather bib or rubber bib. And I think that's like to catch the food and stuff. That is $16.99. Oh, little toddler and pants. I, I came over here because this shirt caught me by surprise. Like, I love all these like new random Mickey expressions. Like they finally realize not everybody wants them to just be smiling. $34.99. I think I've been walking by this without even realizing that this is probably like a collapsible fanny pack or something like that like i want to open this and check but i only got the one hand oh and it fell and it fell that's why i drop merchandise all the time this is where having friends helps you in life yeah it's got the it's got like the strap inside so it's not really like a fanny pack but it's more like a side i mean like it yeah it's i mean technically kind of could wear it the same way a cross body bag or something like that but Cool. I like how much, how, how many zippers it has. Is this just one zipper that goes all the way down? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. So there's another, can you see it? There's another strap inside of here. So this is both a side, a crossbody bag and a fanny pack. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. $30. Okay, I'm seriously debating on that that bag honestly because for 30 bucks and then getting a discount on it, it has three pouches you know i like my organization so it could fit my mask fan all my sanitizing stuff and keep everything all nice and separated and i like that it could be either you know cross body or on the hip whatever you feel in that that day in that moment <sighs> i can't get it right now i can't get it right now i gotta i gotta i gotta get my spending 
reeled in. I've been a little irresponsible in the month of October because of Halloween and, you know, thriving in my best month of the year, but I don't know. I th since it's newer, I'm sure it'll be around through the holidays, I hope. I don't know, you know, famous last words, but that was in um, Once Upon a Time, uh, yeah, the Carthay Circle store. Uh, we have one more like little strip to go up back down this way. So let's, let's go down here. All right, I think this is the last stop for us, but uh, this is that real Vogue. I never know what it's called. It always changes, but now it's basically just the Pixar store, right? Do, 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 do. A lot of plushes. Like a moth to the flame, this sparkly bag caught my eye. 40 bucks, tiny little backpack. You know I don't really like Minnie Mouse, but I do like shiny things. These two shirts are fun. I mean, the yeah, eye, I don't know. It's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, actually. But I do love Dinoco. This t shirt material is awful. $24.99. I don't know if I've seen this before. Oh, it's like a. Oh, it can be. You can switch for righties and lefties. It's like a. Cool design. I don't know. It's nice. It's a fun bag. $35, too. Not that much. Hmm. I do appreciate that these still exist, which is that, like, it's supposed to be the attraction that we're on. Just $20. Oh, so far, this was my least favorite store to walk through. Just the, just, no, no, don't go in. Don't waste your time. The Celebrity Five and Dime. So we're gonna go in here and look for, uh, I don't know, it's usually just a lot of mugs, but not that one I'm looking for. Oh, this 50th anniversary stuff over here. I think this is actually the first bit of 50th merchandise I've seen in this park. So you've got like the keychains. These were at the uh, co-op and, uh, patches the co-op at disney springs i can't finish the thought for some reason but some buttons 14.99 these were 20 i believe yep 20 so four key chains five bucks each not honestly you're buying souvenirs for people not that bad they've also got the uh the big mickey plush here i don't know how much he is and i don't really want to pull this down i'll check that's what i thought fifty dollars So there's a couple things that weren't here when I did the vault collection at, um, when I did the vault collection video at Disney Springs, like this little sippy cup that is, good Lord, $23, get out of town. Get out of town. But you've got yourself the spoon holder, the plate, sippy cup, spoon holder again, candies, the bill. The bill. $15. Feels like something I would give my grandma. It's also, it's my, oh my gosh, this was way heavier than I thought it was. I'm glad I picked it up the way I did. $22.99. Very 1970s. I have the plastic ears here too, along with a bunch of, bunch of these pins and the two magic bands. We've got all that um, Alice in Wonderland, like the Mary Blair series of stuff here as well. Like these little honey spoons. These are, I have no idea. I don't know, price tags aren't anything anymore. $20 for your, for your towel. No, thank you. I don't really love Alice in Wonderland though, but that's just me. I know people do, and that's okay. That is okay. Oh, they have like bags and stuff. Let me check this. I saw this pillow, the dragonfly and everything. Let's see, you are, let me guess. $35. I was going to say 20 something, so I was way off. Jared Mariyama stuff is here, but then I didn't know there were like clothes that were part of this collection. It's fun water bottle design. This is a fun water bottle design. I haven't seen this before. $22.99. It's got the little hook. And the lip. Good lord. I need to like wear the camera on me. This Dumbo mug is cool. I've never seen this before. $14.99. I do like this ice cream scoop. But anyone who's scooped ice cream knows that it's got to be a metal scoop. Solid metal, like this. That's how you do it. 
Okay, donut ears are hilarious and I love them. I don't know how much they are. I don't, I'm not crazy about this color. It's like a sickly green. I don't know, not for me. That is it, um, yeah. So we saw more stuff than I expected to see. I didn't get anything, I didn't leave with anything. I, but I was good, I kept the, kept myself under control, but I think there was some fun stuff. We'll have to do another walkthrough where we go uh, further into the, the back of the park and check out the Star Wars stuff again and maybe some of the individual attractions and, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, um, that's that. I don't really have a lot to say about it, but um, we'll have to do one of the other parks again soon and whatnot. Um, but if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and of course, leave comments below. I am gonna head out of the park now. Uh, I'm happy to say it did not rain. I was 100% almost didn't get out of my car because I thought it was gonna rain, and so I'm pretty happy about that. Then I'm walking back with dry sneakers. So, very grateful today. But thank you everybody for taking this little shopping trip with me. I hope you're all doing well, and I will see you next time. Bye.